you know what it's just yeah <laughs> what's, a, what's a broad zone it's basically uh, it's a subatomic particle <laughs> <laughs> what's that basically it makes up an atom an atom is the smallest thing the smallest like thing on don't make me look bad up. stop <laughs> stop that makes up no, no, everything no. We're, we're made of atoms oh, about, well, about neutron what's that about so neutrons are a part of an atom protons oh. are a part of an atom there could be so many other Earths that are similar to us, similar distance from the sun, having the same things happen, so or even more de- going on. could even be more developed than us. Yeah. Like, and that just, I just find that so interesting. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the history of the entire world. I guess I'm not a big fan of history like that or mm-hmm. science or that kind of stuff. But you like this kind of stuff. I like obviously I, l- I love science, mm-hmm. but. I'm not a big thing on history, but we'll see what... <laughs> you it, like science. I like science, yeah. so yeah. Well, yeah, let's see how this is. Let's go. Rock floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago. Actually, never. And also now. Nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Wow. <laughs> Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too. Like already I'm lost. Do you know what this is? Yeah. <laughs> what's, a, what's a proton? It's basically... Uh, it's a subatomic particle. <laughs> what's that basically it makes up an atom an atom is the smallest thing the smallest like thing on don't make me look bad up. stop <laughs> stop that makes up no, no, everything no. We're, we're made of atoms oh about, well, about neutron what's that about so neutrons are a part of an atom protons oh. are a part of an atom i feel so stupid right now i love science yeah okay. <laughs> it's not bad my Let's degree <laughs> that wants to join in but can't because it's still too great news the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other some of them even doubled up great news the electrons have now joined in congratulations the world is now a bunch of gas in space but it's getting closer together and it's getting closer together and it's getting closer together it's a star new shit just got made some stars burn out and die bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new way crazier shit space which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space dust. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flame. Is that, is that actually happened? Well, that's one of the theories, isn't it? It's like Big Bang Theory kind of thing. Like the show. Ah, oh, the big. <laughs> the show. <laughs> makes sense. You say it's like the show Big did. Bang and then this is what. Look so where great. the dust, the rocks, all that kind of stuff kind of took took a while to form. Yeah, while. it all formed from the Big Bang. Theory. After like 500 years, I think that's what he said. 500. Is that long? Long time. Oh, did you say how? I don't know. 500 long years, day. I think, yeah. But yeah, this is... For it to form? I think so. I think, yeah. That's what he said. Make some brand new, way crazier shit. Space dust. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into... Even crazier space dust. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess. Which is... Now Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. There's nothing in the ocean. What? 
Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. What's that about? They're talking about like how the earth went from like just having gases and stuff to actually being formed and like oh. how we basically got well the theory of how we c- came about but obviously like and how life ca- first began wow <laughs> and an i never take i never they probably taught me this but i wasn't interested i, I was yeah. more interested in my business kind of stuff depends on what you like I yeah guess. yeah i'm out of business not science but wow wow mm-hmm. yeah just let me know if you know any part just pause it please please I know explain this. <laughs> wow i'm, letting well, I'm not gonna go into because i'll be here forever honestly i could go on for hours so <laughs> I don't want to bore you. <laughs> My fault asleep. Yeah. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs. And fish. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. Wow. It's actually mad how, like, everything started from, like, well, from the, in terms of this theory, everything started from, like, an atom and the fact that now we're at the point where, like, animals were formed and produced. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, like, just how life is well how life began from literally like Nothing. that first that first thing that I showed you it was like yeah. just those atoms like crazy yeah. uh, bro i uh, i never think of it this way to be fair <laughs> i've never really think about that until but it, i feel like it made it makes it so fun the Do way you know he's mean? done it yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like like i kind of jumpy at some points yeah. i'm like oh what's that yeah he's <laughs> yeah. making it very very interesting which is yeah. good I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye ocean. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck! Now everything's dead. So this time humans are humans are in the area. It's just the animals. Just like yeah, like earlier animals. Okay. At this point. Okay, I can see dinosaur, so obviously it means yeah, dinosaurs here. Before we were here. So we we're not even to we're like one of the latest pe- things to be on oh. Earth. Wow, it's crazy when you yeah. think of it that way, isn't it? And then we all yeah, like yeah, I can't remember the exact time period, but we came on Earth really like really late. We're and now we're taking over. And now we're literally taking Wait. over. Got all this technology. <laughs> mad, mad. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. And one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. 
Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock, or clop clop. It's the people with the horses. Oh. And they made an empire. So the Middle East called, it's called Middle East because it's in the middle of the East. Oh, I actually, actually didn't think I didn't that. I didn't know well, that. That's a good point. Yeah, because like East is like... Uh, like the East is called like, it's like maybe like Asia side yeah. of, of, of the con like that continent. So obviously the Middle East. Middle of the East, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and also, I never knew there was the Egyptians that started using uh, the, os, uh, the os carriage. So they were the first people that think, came yeah. up with it? Wow. Imagine, something so simple. We think, we don't but, know for sure. But, uh, like, you know, but something so simple, it's crazy how it took a while. Because think about it, everything probably started from that. Like, it was like, that you can get a buy, you can get buy on wheels, and then that's mm -hmm. how like maybe cars came about yeah. eventually. So Screaming. technically, they came up with that, and they're like, was the, like the starting point of like maybe the cars. Founders, and, the original founders. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy where like things that we're doing today, like in hundred years, they'd be like, "Why are they doing that way? They could have done oh, it no. in a more better way." Like they're probably thinking phones, mobile phones. They used to use that back in the day, yeah. and now they're gonna probably have something else that's yeah. like even bigger. Oh, it's so yeah. it's so crazy. Man. I like this. I like this. It makes you think. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about Or their cousins or something And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff You could make a religion out of this There's the Bronze Age collapse Now the Phoenicians can get down to business Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks Look who came back to Israel, it's the 12 tribes of Israel And they believe in God just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. <laughs> Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. I was going to say, that was him. Yeah, I've heard that name. I've heard the same. I, I'm really, when it was history, that's not my strong point, but I've heard that name before. Well, I definitely, I had no clue who he was. Yeah. Makes sense. But to be fair, I'm missing the science. I'm actually, I was actually enjoying the science part. Was you? Science part of this. I was actually enjoying it. Obviously, I was too. Because you're actually cool. telling me loads of stuff I didn't know. So mm. Hopefully, we can get back to that. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Knock, knock. It's Shambra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks. Bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy, who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it. Wow. So Christianity came quite late then yeah. in terms of religions because like they mentioned Hinduism and that was like way back mm -hmm. at that point and they haven't said anything Buddhism about as well. yeah and they mentioned Buddhism wow I didn't it came quite late then I didn't realize what? it came that like late and it, it makes it so normal the way it's, the way it describes it I know you don't think oh Jesus it's like a Jesus. timeline isn't yeah. it that it's going through it's really good and from China they just made a brand new road to the world 
or you can get their own water. Sick, new trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Then it broke again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering Is loving Do you know what Ghana used to be called? What? The Gold Coast. It, probably, yeah, the oh, Gold Coast. Oh, Because they had all the gold back then. Oh. Coast Coast. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Is it the Gold Coast? Or am I getting confused with another one? Yeah. I'm pretty, right. I'm pretty sure it was the Gold Coast. Oh, yeah. That's because they, they just mentioned about the gold that they had then. I was going to say they haven't really spoke about Africa yet. I know. Maybe they don't mention it. Maybe they'll mention it. They haven't really spoke about Europe yet, to be fair. It's more Asia, you know. Maybe they're going to get on to it. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Is this legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of India. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Mm -hmm. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or er, actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long. So Islam came actually after, like it was like after all Christianity, so far. Buddhism, yeah. Wow, okay. I didn't realize the yeah. the timelines of when like everything came together. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I'm gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus, there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom in a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom, just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast, said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. <laughs> Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town in a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of Africa. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, oh, the black. Was it a black death when half of Europe died? Do you ever that before? Oh. Oh, that was a uh, that was to do with the black death. I think so. Still Christian least. when you least expect. <laughs> Whoops, half of Europe just died. Oh, yeah, yeah, black death. I didn't. Ah, so that happened right after the religion came true. Well, okay. interesting. So we're getting. I feel like we're getting closer to like the seventeenth, eighteenth century. Yeah, that's what I'm know. feeling because all that stuff there, 
like I'm for me I'm terrible at history yes. I, just, I don't know like I, I hear the names but I don't mm-hmm. know the timelines I don't know what happens in, in what's mm-hmm. happened in it so, like, but I think I'm, I know more of the recent modern more history more recent history like World War 2 uh, for me I like World, World War 2 or anything after that yeah if before that I have no clue yeah Zero clue. I know a lot about like the transatlantic slave oh, trade yeah. and all that just because just looking into it mm-hmm. but yeah it's very interesting mm-hmm. it's good come on China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean, and discovers more ocean, and then discovers the Indies, and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther. Martin Luther. Yeah. Do you know who this guy is? No. I was more. big. Ah, oh, because he was named, I think, Martin Luther, the black Martin Luther. I'm not sure it was named after him. I'm not too sure. Don't don't quote me on this. Okay. But I remember he was one that, that, that talked about communism, uh, oh. nepotism, was it nepotism, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Back then. I think so. It's not coming back to me. Okay. I didn't even know there was a Martin I, Luther. I definitely knew him. I knew him back then. I think it was was it German. Was well, it German? here it's like this is like Europe now where yeah. they're pointing. So, to the German ro- yeah. I think so. But yeah, this is. I like this part. Okay. Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent? Said Suleiman, wearing an onion hat. What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big? Said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn... That's crazy. They actually banish people. Yeah. <laughs> they banish you to go live somewhere alone. Different islands and stuff. And you must be there alone, survive alone. That's crazy. So I'm just, like, trying to link this all together now. So it's actually crazy how, like... Um, it was only because so like the Americas was discovered later, and then mm-hmm. that's why Europe were like basically fighting of over who owned what part of the yeah. land, that kind of thing. I didn't like I, I hear it, but I just didn't piece mm-hmm. it all together. Before. I feel like in a way, I'm not saying we're lucky because it was if America had discovered everywhere else, yeah, because they're big enough already. I know. So, it's, it's, it's like done full circle now, mm-hmm. hasn't it? In that sense, so, like, like, Europe is so small. We're yeah. so tiny. Like how did we? Like how did the Europe even conquer America when you think of it? Oh, no, it makes no sense. Small, well, it seems small compared mm-hmm. to like 
yeah, like the rest of the world. But, but I feel like it's like they discovered a lot of stuff yeah. that, you know, to other people were like, was like magic, mm. probably like light, that kind of stuff, probably like a touch light, that <laughs> little tiny things I'd be like, oh, what's that? Yeah. But they had already. But yeah, I think so anyway. Wow. Turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make. That was just what you were saying, weren't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. <laughs> That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. Were you going to say something? No, no, oh. carry on, I'll just listen. Sorry. <laughs> and then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself. It makes you realise that, like, this, all of this stuff that happened now, mm -hmm. like the... Jews, Nazi, like that's so re like recent compared to like everything else. Like you don't think it's about all the about, other history. Do you kind of think about? It's less than like eighty years ago. Wait, ago. Wow. it's like a lifetime. It's less than eighty years. Because because happened like World War Two happened in 1941, 1942. Oh yeah, the new the Second World War didn't it? So, yeah. and that's when you know wow. the Nazi thing was happening. So it was like sixty. Yeah. Yeah, or over under eighty five years ago. Wow, not too long ago when you think of not it. Not long at all, really. Compared to the even the American um, American Revolution, yeah, like in the seventeen was it seventeen something against the British? I think it was seventeen seven something. I think it's a lot before. It's really. it's longer, but not too long when you think of it. Yeah, because when they were talking about like like religions first being invented and all these other things happening, like mm -hmm. that's just like that was way back. Mm -hmm. But We've yeah. come a long way. We've come, <laughs> come a long, long way. way. Oh, yeah. Go on, carry on. Self before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round. Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. 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 Finish him. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them could be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Sight, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. 
Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. What happened in 1991, was it? I think that it was so late. Wow. Oh, you think of it. Look, look at the world population as well. Up until... The 1800s were less than a billion in the whole world. It literally boomed after that 1800s. Wow. Because like, obviously back then, because like there was less food as well. When you think of it. Now there's excess. Education. Education. Food. Health. Health. And people know. wanting to wanting to have like people look after them when they're yeah. older. So that yeah. that encouraged. Like, Although we now from... I feel like what's going to happen to world population is going to go like slowly down, isn't it? Because I feel like nowadays. I mean, it depends on the, where, where you are in the world, I mm. guess. But, like, I think nowadays people are having less ki- children as the, as the population's getting more... And they're living longer themselves. Yeah. They're living yeah. longer as well. So it's like an ageing... Bo- mm-hmm. well, again, it depends where mm-hmm. you are, but, like, ageing population. So we went from literally survival to now just being... Living yeah. life, in a way. Because now we have enough, enough money. No matter how poor you are, you can still find food somehow. If you live in, in a modern... Like you live in Europe or America, you can yeah. be poor, but you're gonna find some kind of food. Yeah, anyway, whole, compared to like two hundred years ago, if you're poor, that's it. Mm. You ain't got nothing. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Right. Technology's better too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? <laughs> That's a good point. Where, like, that end just says it all, really. Like, where are wow, we? What are we doing? Because we don't even know, like, what else is out there. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, this is going back onto science because I'm a bit of a geek. But, like, literally, there could be a whole other planet like mm-hmm. in another solar system we are literally just one solar system in the entire um milky way like there could be so many other earths that are similar to us similar distance from the sun having the same things happen so or even more de- going on. could even be more developed than us yeah. like and that just i just find that so interesting like, like, i wouldn't be surprised because like we feel like all the stuff that comes into the earth are aliens we are sort of our aliens in a way. We, we are, are aliens. Are, yeah. To other people. Or the other living forms. Oh, like, we literally a dot. That's the thing. The maple. <laughs> like, I just would love to know if in the future we'll ever know if there is. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, because other solar systems are so far away, mm-hmm. it's like you'd never be able to figure out well, in, at current. You can't like, technology, figure out the, the, older we, the, the more we, the longer it goes. Because think of it, we would have thought we'd be able to go to space that True. Start, like 200 years ago. True. Like, like the more we gain. So we might find ways to get to like other so- imagine getting to like another solar system yeah i just find it really interesting yeah. that was that was a long video but i didn't feel like it but you actually yeah. learned it all the time there's lots of other aspects to it as well like a lot of history in it mm-hmm. um lots of i didn't know religion yeah. talk about religion uh you know yeah yeah um it's yeah. been good but yeah let us know if you want to see more of that that was really good make sure you like comment down below subscribe i'll see you guys very soon Bye-bye. bye bye